Today we are making three holiday appetizers which are just going to add such sparkle to your holiday table. And chances are, if you were to come and visit me around the holiday season, these are the recipes that will be served because they are family staples and family favorites. The first one we're going to be making is this incredible olive tapenade. It is such a crowd pleaser. We even served it at a wedding once and it was a complete hit. The next one we're going to be making, these adorable little mushroom appetizers. They are so cute and they add such a nice little pop of flavor because we really pack the flavor into the little crunchy part in the middle of these mushrooms. My sister absolutely loves these. And the last one we're going to be making is this cheesy spreadable dip, which is completely plant-based and vegan. Actually, all these recipes are but this one is like a cheesy herb dip that you can serve with crackers and the presentation on this one is what really is special because you can make it just the star of your holiday table so I think we should jump right into this video I'm chef Ani so enough talking let's get cooking <laughs> So the first recipe we're going to be making today is our olive tapenade. I'm really excited about this one and you're going to be amazed at how simple and quick and easy you can make this. It is such a good one for the holidays. So we're going to start with some green olives. Green olives have a very nice buttery kind of mild flavor that is delicious. Plus the color is really pretty. Next, we're going to add some soaked almonds. I like to soak them. It makes it a lot easier to blend them. Now, this recipe is gluten-free, but you can also make it nut-free or oil-free. See my recipe on my website for details. I'll leave a link down below. Next, we're going to add in some sun-dried tomatoes. This adds such nice flavor. You're gonna love it. Next, we're going in with some capers. This adds a really nice flavor, a type of flavor that people might not totally expect and they're going to be asking, like, what's so good in this? Next, we're going to add in a clove of garlic and some Bragg's liquid aminos. Adding in some fresh parsley, and then we're going to slowly add in a little bit of oil while the food processor is running. My family and I like to have some appetizers sitting on a table so if guests come and we're not completely ready with the main meal, it's sure nice to have um, something for them to snack on if they are really hungry. <laughs> Who can wait to the end of the video? Let's just eat it now. <laughs> I'm okay if this is all I have for the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> the next recipe we're going to make are these adorable little mushroom appetizers. And they're really simple to make. I'm going to show you how simple. So we're going to start by just heating a little bit of oil. And the secret to making these mushrooms incredibly delicious is to really pack a lot of flavor into the filling. So I like to use garlic, quite a hefty amount of garlic, but you will see, it is totally worth it. Some crushed red pepper. And we're going to add in some salt, chop up some mushrooms to also put in the filling. Now that the mushrooms have released their juices a little bit, we can add in our panko breadcrumbs. And the reason I use panko breadcrumbs is that they are a little crispier, they hold their texture, so it adds a really nice textural crunch to these mushrooms. Okay, so that's good to go. Now we prepare our mushrooms. We have our mushrooms here and we've just removed the stem so we can fill it with our filling, plus the stem is a bit tough in texture. And then we're just going to sprinkle these with a little salt and then pop them in the oven to bake. The last recipe we're going to make is this cheesy spreadable dip. It is beautiful, so delicious, and the presentation is really what takes this recipe to the next level. So we're going to start by roasting off some garlic with a little bit of olive oil. Seal that up real good. And we're going to take the mushrooms out of the oven and put the garlic in. Now I soak my cashews and there are a couple reasons for this. One, it makes it super easy to blend. The other thing that's really nice is that it gives it a really creamy consistency, which is really important for a cheesy spreadable dip. And then the last thing, it takes away some of that cashew sweet flavor and leaves you with a more plain base that you can then develop and build flavor on. Next, we're going to add in some fresh lemon juice. 
some nutritional yeast flakes. This gives a very nice flavor, along with some coconut milk to make it super creamy, and some salt. So our garlic has just come out of the oven. It might be good to let it cool for a little bit, but I'm so excited, I gotta just dig in here. You wanna be careful though, because this could be incredibly hot and burn you, and that would take the fun totally out of this process. So just be careful, when you open this, the steam comes out, so you wanna be careful. And the last thing we have to do is to just chop up some herbs and add them in. And you don't wanna blend so much that the mixture becomes green, we just want enough to kind of mix it in. So you can use a variety of different herbs, whatever you have on hand. Our favorites are dill, little parsley, some chives. Those are really good. So the last thing we wanna do is to just shape this into the shape we want it to be. So what I like to do is just take a couple layers of cheesecloth and put it in a bowl. I like to use this bowl because it's very round and it looks nice. So I'm just going to pop that in here. Now, if you don't have cheesecloth though, there are other options. Check my website for the details. I'll leave a link down below. And then I just like to take my hands underneath, pull all of this up, and then just use a rubber band to tighten it off. So you get that nice round shape that we want for this presentation. And I like to just keep it just like this and pop it in the fridge and let it sit overnight. And you'll find that the flavor is way better the next day because it has had time to kind of gel, all that flavor develops. So there you have it. Those are three of my favorite holiday appetizers. Those are staples around our house. We love them and we use them every year. I hope you enjoy these recipes. As always, you can find the recipes on my website, chefani.com. I'll leave a link down below. I also have other favorite appetizer recipes that I couldn't include in this video, but I thought I would mention them. They are candied pecans. I mean, delicious little pops of sweetness on an appetizer table. Spinach artichoke dip. That is a classic favorite. And these meringue mushrooms just add such a cute little decoration. People are going to love it when they realize they can eat them. So I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I look forward to seeing you next week. And if you'd like to, please hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help me out. And I will see you next Wednesday with another video.